Happy Homebrew Wednesday, folks. Ryan Patrick Murphy here. Drinking a little homebrew. Holy cow, look at that. This is the PSA IPA. The all grain. Look at that. That's some clear beer. It's amazing how clear this stuff got. It's used filtered water, and maybe that helps. I don't know. But, geez, just look at it. It's just building up. So It's so overcarbonated. Yeah, it's not great, but it's about pretty much all I have left at this point. So, did some kegging this last week here. I'm doing the naturally carved method on one of the kegs, so let's just take a quick look here. Alright, so this is the right channel amber ale. I felt, I realized I had these post notes I should put on things so I can remember what's going on. Kegged 820, the right channel YouTube Amber Ale, and then the Copper Toned Ale, which is hooked up to gas, so it's getting force carved. It was a funny story. After I got everything settled Thursday, I uh, turned the gas back on when I plugged it back in, so things chilled down overnight, and then I uh, Got home and I was like, oh, I better test and see if the naturally carved keg is still holding pressure because I put I put some pressure on it to keep the lid up. And I go and I snap it on and no sound. I'm like, oh, all right, it's good. I just, I didn't have the pressure up as high, so there shouldn't be any more gas coming in. No, it's because I forgot to turn the gas on. So it's, the uh, keg in the keys there has only been going for about 24 hours now. Not even that, really, but oh well. It's all right. So what I did with the naturally carb uh, keg is I just did two thirds cup of sugar, a little more, just trying to hope. You know, I don't want it over carbonated, but I want to make sure it can produce enough pressure. Then I put 30 psi. I uh, vented out the O2, purged the O2, and then put 30 psi on there just to try to keep the lid up. And hopefully it stays warm enough and things stay right to where the beer won't absorb that CO2. So, well, the CO2 that I put on it. And if it does, it's not a big deal. Because we'll purge it and I can just serve it low for a couple days and the gas will come out on its own. Here in Iowa, we're about to get some nasty weather. Let's go take a look and see what's going on. It's definitely getting dark. I should grab my my iPad and we we'll sit outside for a few minutes. It's a little humid out here. But uh, take a look here, right? Clouds are getting pretty dark. It's on this way. Let's see if I can pull up a radar. This is not beer related, obviously. Here, let's let's drink some beer. That'll make it beer related. It should be a lot better if it wasn't so overcarbonated. I know I've said that about 20 times. Ah, this looks creepy as hell. Let's take a look here. Oh boy, that is close, isn't it? That looks fun right there. It's definitely making its way here. Probably shouldn't be up here on the balcony right now. Let's see if I can... Let's 
Let's see if we can get some severe weather stuff showing. There we go. You see the severe weather. Tornado watches. Thunderstorm warning down there, but that's nowhere near us. Wow. Well, this should be a fun time. Probably be pretty wet. Well, that's all I got for you this week, folks. Oh, geez, look at that. High down snowstorm. So, cheers, everybody. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.